Hey, feels right. Feels right. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten. He wears a hooded sash with a silver hat about his head and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. The Las Vegas Raiders are coming off a good free agency period with the acquisition of interior defense lineman Christian Wilkins. They also re-signed some guys to run back what they did on defense the second half of last season. They did lose running back Josh Jacobs from the offense, so he was a big part of the heart and soul of the team and just won the rushing title in 2022. However, I think the Raiders in the running game are going to be just fine. Zamir White got this. The questions about his vision and him fitting the zone blocking scheme are for no good reason. He was a little too impatient for the zone blocking scheme as a rookie, but that is no longer the case. He has since developed the patience he needs and ran the ball well in the power gap and zone scheme last year. He had 48 carries out of zone and 46 carries out of power gap last year. When Jacobs was out the last four games, White rushed for 397 yards in his stead. No, he doesn't make guys miss like Jacobs, but he actually averaged almost a full yard more per carry after contact and per carry period. And in the process, he showed he can carry the Raiders running game. Alright, you can call this an inside zone or a sprint draw. It's all zone. You can tell it's that by the left guard. He's going to combo off onto the linebacker. Chargers outside linebacker Kyle Mack is trying to blow this play up, but watch the jump cut here, and then he gets back into the hole. And once he gets through, he finishes his run by dipping his shoulder on the linebacker for a nice game. Aside from patience, another thing White has learned is how to look for the small hole instead of the big hole. And nowhere is that skill more important than it is near the goal line. Here he finds the soft spot, and then he's in. All right, White is running out of the zone blocking scheme again. Both the right tackle and center are comboing off onto the linebackers. Watch White dip his shoulder on that linebacker and drive for another three yards. All right, here we have a power. We have down blocking with the guard pulling and the fullback kicking out. He's gonna get through that small hole that's there for him and rip off a chunk of about 15 yards. Alright, here we go again with another zone based inside run. Center Andre James is going to combo off onto one of the linebackers and fullback Jakob Johnson is going to lead through and pick up the other one. Alright, it's a little clogged up inside, but White's going to see a crack just inside the tight end. Those are the holes he wasn't going through before. He's going to get through this one though and run hard and get a nice little gain out of it. Look how many people it takes to bring him down here. Alright, we're on to the Kansas City Chiefs. It looks like zone stretch here with the play side guard comboing off onto the linebacker. Then you have the play side tight end looking to block on the back side. And there's nothing there on the design play side, but White sees a hole on the back side. And he gets through it for a nice game. Alright, here we have another inside zone or sprint draw. And both the right guard and the left guard are going to combo off onto the linebackers. The tight end is going to climb up on the other linebacker. And it's all clogged up on the inside, but White sees a hole on the outside and hits it. And at the end of this run, he shows he's not an easy man to bring down. Alright, here we have a counter. It's not a counter trade with the guard and tackle pulling. It's down blocking and just the guard pulling. With the running back taking a jab, step to his right and going left. And there's a big hole to run through. All 
All right, we got another zone with right guard Greg Van Roten comboing off into the linebacker. Look how many guys the Chiefs have in the box. That's nine guys right there. They know the run's coming and they still can't stop it. White spots his hole a little to the outside and he's going to get through it for a huge gain. 43 yards to be exact. Love to see him run through tackles. All right, this is the very next play after that 43 yard run and White is still in the game. And this is another zone as both guards are comboing off onto the linebackers. And as you can see, it's not there on the front side, but White can see that hole on the back side with that peripheral vision he's not supposed to have. Gotta love that stiff arm. All right, we're on to the Indianapolis Colts and it looks like inside zone here. The center's climbing up to the linebacker here and the left tackle is gonna combo off onto the other linebacker. It looks like the hole's on the back side, White sees it. And he finishes the run. All right, here comes another inside zone as we got combo blocks coming again. Those combo blocks are coming from the right guard and the center this time around. And there's our hole, just inside the tight end, and White sees it. Alright, on this play, it looks like the Raiders are trapping the right defensive tackle with the fullback. And by the skins of their collective teeth, they're going to barely make it work. That wasn't a very good block by Johnson, so the defensive tackle has White. But White is able to run through that tackle for a nice gain. All right, now we're on to the season finale against the Denver Broncos, and here's a toss play. This is pin and pull here. Receiver Jacoby Myers is pinning the outside linebacker, and right tackle Jermaine Illuminor is pulling. But we have a nice hole and a nice gain here. Here we have a power out of the gun. There's down blocking with Van Roten pulling, and everyone's gonna do their job on this play. Instead of kicking his man out, Van Roden hooks his man and White reads it so he's going to go outside and find good yardage out there. Oh yeah, another stiff arm. Alright, here we have zone stretch with Van Roden and left tackle Colton Miller comboing off to linebackers. And the hole is right there for White to run through. All right, here we have another inside zone with Miller comboing off to and James climbing up to the linebackers. And the hole is big. That's how you get out of the shot of your own goal line. All right, this is zone stretch with Miller and Von Roten comboing off to the linebackers. The hole is going to be there and White's going to hit it just as it opens. Alright, here's another zone stretch with Van Roden comboing off to the linebacker. The Raiders really got that zone running game going the second half of the season. White already sees something developing over the middle, so he's going to go ahead and get to that. He's going to get a nice gain out of it too. White also showed he's a nice underneath option in the passing game. He had 9 catches for 60 yards those last 4 games. He wasn't Christian McCaffrey, but neither was Jacobs. He can get the job done catching the ball though. But of course with the speedy ass, he can get better in that department. And catch more balls down the field as opposed to just out in the flats. Here's what I like to see him do though. Catch the ball and make a guy miss after the catch. Oh. Hey, I think he's ready for that bell cow roll. Running and catching the football.
To me, the loss of Jacobs was a pretty big loss for the Raiders. But when you have losses like that, that leaves room for guys to step up and fill that void. That's where White comes in in this case. They said he didn't have vision. They said he didn't have patience, but he showed both to go along with 3.21 yards per carry after contact. That would have been good for 7th in the league if he had enough carries. Then he put all that together to rush for 397 yards and take the place of Jacobs the last 4 games of the season. And he can catch the ball a little bit too so White can handle the bell cow roll. Thank you for watching. See you next time.